Okay, hello guys. Today I am making a video. Oh, I'm gonna open this box that has six stag uh, rhino beetle larva, larvae larva in them. And then so let's get. Um, last time I made I made the video about the book. I said there would be three video, um, three series in that. I'm sorry. Four series, okay? So let's get started. So cut the straps. And then, okay, so there's tape down here. Just so you can see, I'm gonna cut across the top like that. And then, right now, since I'm in Japan, I ordered Japanese rhino beetle. Larvae or larva, whatever. Uh, a lot of people call them different names, so I'm just gonna call them both names for some people and other people. And then, so as you can see up here, I I have ordered this. That this is the male, full-grown male. So, I'll be making video when it's at its pupa stage, at its, so larva stage is now, so book, it was part one, and the pupa stage will, uh, this sta opening will be part two, and then finally pupa stage part three, part four is when they're adult, I'll do a special, if I get more than two males, I'll try to battle them. So let's get started. I don't need scissors anymore. So here, as you can see, this mixture here has a lot of wood, a lot of food, and easy breaking rotten wood mixture. So um, since so I'm gonna try to find the larva, larva, larva. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dig because I don't wanna hurt any of them. Any of them? I, oh, yep. Sorry. See, there's the butt of one. So I don't wanna hurt it. How should I do this? So I'm gonna slowly go down. Sorry if you hear car noises. We're right by the road. Our house is by the road. Mama. Wait. So, I found one larvae. I'm gonna try to dig it out. Here it is. This is about L3. L3 larvae. L3 larvae. So this is an L3 larvae. I can't tell if it's a male, but I think it's a female. I think this one is a female. So, I, I'm gonna put the ones I find on So, um, yeah. So, I'm just gonna put these larva, larvae, larva on on some dirt soil the dirt soil they like when I find them just set them there I know you're actually supposed to bury them down but for now I don't want to do like all changing stuff in one video because it's horribly hard so I'm just going to bury in there so you stay still and then we'll keep going as it goes on and then after the video I'll put them in their normal boxes let them grow into L3 and bigger so um so um I'm just going to um for forward fast I'm not going to try to find all six of them but I I just wanted to show you what one larvae looks like. 
there's another larvae. I think this is L3 larvae. Oh yeah, this is a big L3. Here's an L3 larvae. Yeah, this is getting yellow. Oh, yep. It has it, um, yeah, it, it made its pupa, um, pupa gauge. So, he, see? Here, let me, sh let me co compare them. See how the one on the right is way more yellow than the one on the left? That is because the one, uh, one on the right, this one right here. Oh, sorry, sorry. The one on the right is the um, one that's not even close to pu uh, becoming pupa. This is closer to becoming a pupa. See how, how it's like yellow? It won't open. Uh, well, I can't check if this is a male or female. I hope I get three males, three females, so I can at least have a pair, two pairs. And then... Yes, yeah, so, so right here, right here, uh, see these two larvae, they're trying to dig down, so I'm just going to give them more soil on top, so that they feel safe. Um, this video, I don't want to make it too long, so I'm just going to go till I find, let's see, five. And then the last one, yeah, I'll just do do six more minutes and see how many I can find in six minutes. So I'm going to slow, I slowly dig in the corner. They usually like corners. Yep, yep, there's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, I don't want to hurt it. Because if you t touch them too sharply, these things die. Now, some people might think, oh, these look so ugly. But they look so, uh, like, awesome, heroic when they're, when they're adults. But this isn't really ugly. You, you can look at every... Yeah, this, is, this looks like a male. I can't see if it's a male right now. I, I will, after this next video in the pupa video, I will tell you how many males, females I found. Yeah, this one, I don't know yet. This one, it's hard to see. Here, let me show you. Right here, right there where my pinky is, there's supposed to be a little white dot. If it's a male, it's supposed to... <coughs> There, there's supposed to be a white dot, but I don't see a white, oh, oh, yep, this is a male, right? There, there's a white dot. Yeah, this is probably a male. I'm not, like, 100% sure, but it's probably a male. I'll see if I'm right or wrong later. So... Next corner is this corner we haven't dug. Yet. Oh, yep. Slowly approach it. Don't, like, when you see it's back, don't try to just grab it out of the ground. Try to dig around it so it doesn't, it feels, like, comfortable, okay, coming out of the ground. Because if you approach too dangerously, there's a chance they're going to die. Just slowly lift them out of the ground. This one isn't old enough to know yet. So, like, wait till they're, like, at, like, the very end of three when they get yellow. Or, like, in the middle of three when they're, like, as big as your hand. This is almost in the middle of the three. This is, like, start of stage three. Yeah, so this is the, um, stage three. Sorry if you can hear, like, whispering. I have little siblings over here, but, um... They're doing their best to um, be quiet. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to 
I'm gonna, I know there's some in the middle because there's mostly, they're mostly at the bottom, like in the corners. You never know when one's gonna come out. It's like a dig. I think I found them all. Six. Here, first let me go count. All right, so I'm gonna count how many they are. So, one, two larvae, larvae, larva, three, four, and then there are supposed to be six larvae, and there are four, that means easy calculation you learn in first grade. Six minus four equals two. Two larvae left. I'm just gonna cover them with more. I'm just gonna check all the corners again because I'm not sure I checked all of them. So, I'm not sure I checked this corner. Yeah, there's something in down there. There's nothing down here. Yeah, now I remember I already checked that corner in the beginning. So I'm just gonna keep going like this. Those last two hit real well. It's either that they didn't send. Here, I'm just gonna empty this dirt out a little bit. Right now, right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna empty the dirt up. Like this, I'm gonna slowly empty it out. Slowly. If you wanna do it like this, you should be very careful because you should it should be very close to the ground when you do this. And then there should be soft dirt because if then the larvae falls out, larvae larva falls out, and then it hits the ground too hard, there's a chance that it will die. They're very fragile. Very expensive too. So you can catch some around wait. I think I found one. Nope. So you can catch them around June, July. They're like, yeah, like um, in Australia, like warm places by the equator. Thai, you can find them all year around. I don't see any. It will be a bummer. Oh, there are only six, but if there are only four, five right there, five. There should be one more here. One more. I'm sure there are six. The place I ordered them from is very trusted worthy so to make sure you get what you want you pay after they deliver it so I'm gonna pay tomorrow it came today it came today yeah so this is gonna be probably the end of the video here if you like like the video, please subscribe, leave a note of what kind of stag beetle stuff I should do next, video stuff. See you later.